So I'm here at Hollandale Beach with Kerry, my new friend Kerry. Kerry, he has a new shoes. We yeah. gave him a new shoes. Yeah. All right. This Kerry right here. 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 <laughs> there you go. USA, USA. number one. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we split, man. We split everywhere we go. We split. Man. All right. We are here, people, at yeah, the beach. Yeah. At the beach, it's a cool place. Okay, brother. All thank right. you so much for bringing me here. All right. So. Yeah, people, now we are at the beach. It has been uh, one and a one hour walk, I would say. Uh, 70, 80 minutes walk from the house to here. And now at the beach, at the beach. All right. There's not too many people, kind of. There's very, very, I mean, there are people, but uh, not too much. The beach. The beach area here is not very wide. The strip is not wide. I believe that's like a uh, because of these hotels here. All right, we are at right here. That's where we are now. Hollandale Beach. All right, on the strip with the hotels. And uh, yeah, people are here. They are chilling. I am chilling and I had one long conversation with a cool dude by the name of uh, Kerry. We found Kerry on the street. All right. We found Kerry on the street, he was so kind to help me, even though he was broke as hell, he only had $20 in his pocket, no place to stay, uh, one of these misfortunate people, and uh, believe it or not, he, <laughs> he offered me to pay for my bus, yeah, he said, uh, hey, I give you money for the bus, because I told him I didn't really have money. And Kerry was kind enough to say, uh, yeah, I give you five bucks for the bus, man, I pay your bus. But I say, listen, I'm not going to take the bus anyway, so let's save this five dollars. But then uh, Kerry, he felt kind of uh, obligated to help me. So he said, uh, well, you know what, I now feel responsible for you because you are out of town. Uh, you don't know how to and what to do here and I may offer you my help and I say what do you mean and he said uh, well I will I will bring you to the beach I will walk with you to the beach but then you know he thought he thought that I cannot walk fast and so I was walking super fast and at one point he say, wait a minute, my feet are killing me because he had like this not so good flip-flops. And I said, you know what, Kerry, I have some pretty good shoes for you. I gave him the shoes. And that uh, really what happened. I had like one pair of shoes. <laughs> These shoes, they have a cool history. Maybe you can see them in some of my videos how we actually purchased the shoes with the famous Jozek. We purchased the shoes in a store and I tried to sell them. I tried to do the Gary V thing. The Gary V thing did not work for me. For some reason the shoes, maybe I was asking too much money for the shoes. I think I was asking like 150 bucks for these shoes. They didn't sell. So I said to myself, you know what? Why not carry? Why not carry? Why not? to be the new owner of the shoes. These shoes they have, now they have a cool history. They, somebody gave it to the people, you know, somebody who was not using them gave it to the people. I bought them and then now the shoes are getting back to the people again for free. All right, shall we say the best things are free? Is this good thing to believe? Well, I think it's true, the best things are free. But people are so caught up. People are so caught up in their little 10%, you know? 
people are always caught up in their little 10% that didn't go their way. They are always caught up in the 10% that did not go their way. And they, you know, they don't see the, the good stuff. They always feel obligated that they must pay the price to feel good, you know. Well, I would say you don't have to pay the price to feel good. It's just free. To feel good, it's free as long as you don't focus on the 10%. <laughs> as the Sadhguru would say. As long as you don't focus on the 10% that you... That didn't go their way. That didn't go your way. Alright? So now here, here we are. At the beach. At the beach. At the beach. At the beach. Alright? And we're gonna enjoy a little bit. I was planning this morning very early, but something happened. You know, I was planning to meet. Here is the sun. It is now 10, 10.40 a.m. already. 10.40 already. Anyway, so... What I would say, 10.40 in the morning, I managed to... To get to the beach. My plan was to be at the beach at uh, 6 a.m. Six hours ago. Something like this, but something happened and I could not come. So I had to go back to the house. But I finally got to the beach. So that's it. 